Hey everyone, Herb here again, and today I'll be going over why you should be checking your house for radon. And I'll be going over a product that you can buy off Amazon to check for radon levels in your house as well. Here we have the AccuStar long-term radon test kit. It's actually a double pack that you can buy from Amazon and you can test in two different rooms. So what exactly is radon? It's a radioactive and naturally occurring gas that results from the breakdown of uranium inside soil and rocks. That's also associated with lung cancer. The problem is that it's colorless and odorless, so you can't really tell. And because the air pressure inside of your house is generally lower than the pressure of the gases surrounding the base of your house, any cracks or floor drains or gaps between pipes is a possible entry point for this gas to get into your house, particularly in the basement, and build up in concentration to possibly dangerous levels. Here in the lower mainland in BC, we're generally in the safe zone, being less than 100 BQ per meter squared, but it's still possible to have levels that are above 100 in this area too, depending on whether your house has any cracks in the foundation and how well the air circulates in your basement. And then generally, maybe a little bit higher on the island, but if you start to go into northern or even worse, interior BC, that's where the levels get to be pretty dangerous. As you can see here, we have the two devices. Each of them have their own identification to them. I've already removed the shrink wrap and the desiccant for each of these. One of them I'm going to put inside our guest room down in the basement and the other in the general play area for the kids where we spend a considerable amount of time, especially during COVID. These pucks have a little slot on the side where you can tie it onto something like a light fixture. And they have pretty clear instructions on what are sort of the ideal uh, places where you should put uh, these pucks. Being Canadian, the instruction manuals come with the French version, but my French is limited to bonjour, comment ça va, and au revoir, so I'm just going to stick to the English version. The ideal testing time is three months to one year, and the preferred places are where you spend most of your time, so that's probably where you want to leave it, and they actually specify areas where you spend more than four hours per day. It also comes with two Ziploc bags, one for each device, and a couple data sheets for you to fill out the information for each of your devices so you don't get them confused, as well as an, a mailing envelope. So they make it pretty user-friendly and pretty idiot-proof for the most part. You still have to pay for postage though. So after about seven months, this is my device in the guest room. And here's device number two, the one we kept in the kids play area. I just tied it onto our little fixture there. With some ribbon. I recommend you putting this in your Google Calendar or something to remind you to grab these so you don't accidentally leave it for too long. You have a year though. I forgot to mention that uh, initially when you take it out of the shrink wrap um, it pretty much becomes active so you need to use it pretty much right away after you take it out. And you fill in the paperwork and Fill in the dates of exposure. And just as a backup in case they lose this paper is that you take a picture of this sheet that has all the information. And toss your devices into the envelope as well as the data sheets uh, with the corresponding uh, information for each of the devices. And you seal it and mail it off after filling in all your demographic information. And then a few weeks later, you will get an email with the test results. And as you can see, uh, for our house, um, both the guest room and the playroom um, have fairly low levels of this radon gas, about a quarter of the concentration that is associated with an increased risk for cancer in the lung. So for me, this is a good peace of mind, um, very reassuring that we're not 
unknowingly putting our lives as well as any guests or family members um, lives at risk this is just the government website that pretty much outlines um, the obvious or that higher concentrations of um, the radon as well as people who smoke uh, carry a higher risk for lung cancer in general I'd like to give my buddy Tim a shout out for informing me about this and for recommending this product that's quite easy to use. And I hope that you too will consider testing your house for this radon gas. And I know this is a different type of video than I typically would make, uh, but I figured it's something that's quite important. So please leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos and whether you found this helpful. The link to the AccuStar home radon test kit will be in the video description. Until next time, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.